Hello, we're Marcus and Jamie. From Aroma Time Bistro in Ellenville, New York. Ellenville, a lot of people ask us Ellenville. Why, ja why Ellenville, Jamie? Well, we moved back to be close to our family and to raise our children here in the town that we grew up in. And that was back in the early 2000s. In 2003, we opened, but in the late 90s, I came through this food revolution. I was a chef at some really nice places, the Broadmoor, the Greenbrier. I worked at a Michelin three star in London. And I knew that our food system was really in trouble. And when Jamie became pregnant with our first child, I did a ton of research and I started supporting a lot of small farms, producers that were using real food, lacking the chemicals, the ingredients, all, all the preservatives. And it became hard for me to work for other people. And thus, Aroma Time was actually born because we wanted to live out our passion. We are a farm to table restaurant, globally inspired and supporting about 45 different farms. And it goes far beyond farms for us about supporting independent local. Our whole bar selection that we're standing in front of right now is loaded with independent spirits, beer, wine, wineries that we've personally visited, distillers we've visited all over the world. Uh, we really have a fun time here at the restaurant just bringing real food and real drink. We decided to become certified green. In the early 2000s, we accomplished that and became one of the very first restaurants in upstate New York, actually the first restaurant in upstate New York to be certified green. It's our passion, it's what we live personally. We wanted to uh, just bring that out in our business and share our knowledge and our passion and just provide amazing food that had a lower uh, impact on, on our environment. It doesn't matter whether you eat meat, seafood, or you're a vegetarian, we've got you covered. We have something for everyone. So we really pride ourselves, like I said, in local ingredients, and we use a lot of local meats. Everything from beef, pork, we contract all of our ground beef out from a small farm, just about 30 miles from here. We take the whole production. Our seafood, that's how this whole thing first began. I became involved in sustainable seafood and we only serve wild salmon. We're very opposed to a lot of different types of seafood that have don't have enough population or the catch method is wrong. And we personally love to uh, cook and eat vegetarian. So we really have not excluded anybody, whether you love meat, vegetarian, seafood, and we're very good on allergies, gluten sensitivities, other kinds of allergies. People flock to us because we are able to have 100% transparency in our kitchen and show you what, what we're serving. We're and very be conscious, very, very conscious. And be able to separate those ingredients out. So Jamie, what else is there to do in Ellenville? Absolutely, so there's a lot of hiking, there's a lot of trails, there's Sam's Point, um, we are a, a middle ground for a lot of different things all around the area, but specifically in Ellenville, there are some shops that have opened up. There's the Shadowland Theater. Ah, the Shadowland Theater. Professional Equity Theater, 90 miles off of Broadway. Some really great headliners come in here for their season. It's amazing. But you and I are hikers, we are. runners. <laughs> so we get out on the mountain a lot. We literally have two or three state preserves and state forests here. I don't know how many thousands and thousands of acres are just right behind us here on this mountain between Mohonk Preserve, Minnewaska, Sam's Point. You have the Schwangunk Forest, you have the Schwangunk Ridge, you have the Lundy, Lundy Forest. I mean this, and you have the mountain biking here from um, Lippman Park, which is rated one of the best mountain bike parks. It is rated the best mountain bike park in New York State. So there's a lot of stuff to do here in Ellenville. If you're adventurous, hang gliding. We are the Northeast capital of hang gliding. Like Jamie said, we're involved in our community because we're from this community. This is our community and we built this restaurant because we wanted to improve our community. And one of the first, what was one of the very first things we did, Jamie, before so, we opened the doors? So before we even opened the doors of Aroma Time, we opened as a soup kitchen. So in 2003, we opened as a soup kitchen where our doors were open, no questions asked, and we'd serve meals to anybody in need on Christmas Day. So to this date, we've served Gosh, how many people? Over 8,000 free meals we provided to our community, no questions asked. All done through volunteers and donation. And so we just love giving back to our community. We are the race directors of a local 5K race that donates back all the proceeds to, to all kinds of scholarships at school, food banks, and other great community causes. So Jamie and I run this restaurant. Uh, like we said, we are in, uh, we live near our families. We have two kids that both work the restaurant. So you might run into both of them. One looks like me, Justin, and one looks like Jamie, Courtney. <laughs> so if we look a little younger when you come in, that's our, that's our children. <laughs> So we wanna just welcome you to Aroma Time, and if we haven't met you yet, we hope to meet you personally very soon. Thank you very much, everybody. 